Welcome back, folks, to It's Not Junk TV. I'm Jarvis, and we have another awesome episode of Rescued from the Landfill for you today. So stay tuned, and when we get back, you'll see what we got to work on. If you've seen any of my earlier videos, then you would know that I highly recommend getting into the lighter resale market. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, I highly recommend you go back and check them all out, because there's some cool videos there. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of different types of lighters that have been made over the years, with almost all having some type of value, but there are some that are truly coveted by collectors. There are the highly complicated lighters with watch-like mechanisms that light with the push of a button to simple flip-top Zippo style lighters. Learning which ones are more valuable than others is up to you to research and find out for yourself. What we are doing on today's episode is restoring a rare 1950s Nimrod pipe lighter. The Nimrod pipe lighter is very unique in its design in which the lighter opens and fires from the center allowing easy use to light any size pipe. When finished, simply close the lighter and it extinguishes the flame. I have found that the easiest way to remove these stuck flints is to get a good sharp drill bit that's just a tad bit smaller than the flint tube so as to not damage the threads on the end of the tube. You can just use your fingers and slowly drill the old flint out by occasionally lightly tapping the end of the drill bit on the hard surface to help bust things up. As with most old lighters, the Nimrods are simple strike wheel mechanisms that utilize a flint pressed against an abrasive wheel which produces a spark. Unfortunately, man-made flints are prone to absorb moisture from the air which seizes the flint inside the lighter and can be very difficult to remove. And this is the typical problem with most used lighters you'll find out on the market. I have also found that a simple pin vise to hold the drill bit makes it much easier and gives you a lot more leverage to work the drill bit in and out of the tube. After we have worked the bit all the way through until we hit the back of the flint wheel, we will knock out all the loose stuff and then turn the drill bit around to the square side and use it to scrape the inside of the tube to make sure everything that it has been removed. Here's an awesome tip for you. Start saving all the disposable lighters that you find laying around or that you use and just recycle the flints out of them. Uh, they're plenty long enough, they last a long time, and why just pitch them? Recycle them and reuse them.
Next, we'll move off to the buffer. As you can tell, my buffing machine isn't a store-bought. It's something I made about 20 years ago, and it uses an 800 RPM motor. You want to go with something slow, it's better than those uh, 50,000 RPM things you get at Harbor Freight. If you use one of those, you'll end up burning it up. These lighters are made from fairly light and thin aluminum, so you have to be very careful how hard you press. After manipulating the lighter in as, as many awkward angles as possible, I believe we have it finally polished up to a bright and shiny luster. Next, we'll give it a quick rub down with a polishing cloth, throw in some fluid, and I believe we're ready to go. Well, here it is all done, folks, the 1950s Nimrod Pipe Lighter. If you haven't liked this episode yet or subscribed to the channel, please take a second and do it now. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Jarvis with It's Not Junk TV, and as always, thanks for watching.